Hey friend, John McLennan here, and in this video, you're gonna learn how to play Communication Breakdown as recorded by Led Zeppelin on guitar. Now this is an awesome song that showcases some classic Jimmy Page guitar moves. There's two sections you need to know to be able to play through the song, and I'm gonna show you both of them and break them down step by step. The first part is just a little two bar phrase that uses some palm muting and some power chords. And then the second part is the chorus or the B section, and there we're going to bring in more of a blues rhythm pattern. Before we dive in though, I want to hook you up with a gift right away. If you're new here, I have this awesome fretboard guide that I put together that's going to show you the five must-know chords and scales to play in any style anywhere on the neck. And this is a system that I use to basically map out the fretboard and really help me connect all the dots when I'm playing songs or taking solos. So you can grab your copy, just go to johnmcclennan.com slash fretboard guide to download it completely for free there, or you can use the first link down below. All right, well with that said, Let's break this song down. Let's learn how to play Communication Breakdown as recorded by Led Zeppelin on guitar. Now there's two parts that you need to know to be able to play along with the song, and that's sort of this main riff and then the chorus section which goes to almost like a blues rhythm pattern. So here's what the first riff sounds like, and this is where we're going to start. One, two, three, four. <laughs> We're going to start out in the first measure, we're going to play the open E string. And we're going to play eighth notes. I would use all down strums here. And the trick to getting this to sound right is to use palm muting. So you're going to go. So I'm just bringing my palm down here. We don't want the note to ring out like this. But we want to just lightly dampen that low E string. And we can count it like this, one and two and three and four and. So there's going to be eight of those in the first measure. Then we'll do one more. And then what we do is we go to chords. So it's that low note and then power chords. Now these power chords that I'm playing here are just two notes. and. The first one is on the 5th fret of the 5th string, and then the 7th fret of the 4th string. And you can use fingers 1 and 3 like this, or you can use 1 and 4, which is what I was doing. And this is based on a full D bar chord here, which sometimes Paige would play. And do like the full chord. But I think it's easiest just to start with the power chords. So that's going to be just those two notes. Then we're going to shift up one string to the 5th fret of the low E and 7th fret on the 5th string. So we were here, now we're here, and then we go back. So it's D, then to A, and then to D, and those are called 5 chords or power chords. D5, A5, D5. So all together... Now you could do just all downs on everything. That's probably the easiest way to get started. As far as the strum hand here, down, 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 down. Okay, or you could, sometimes you'll see Paige, like uh, in the communication breakdown video that's on YouTube, it looks like he does an up strum on that D chord, so. Just the first D though, then down, down for the next two chords. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And it kind of has a slightly different feel, uh, but you could experiment either way. It's going to sound great, but that's your main riff. So it's only two bars long. Here it is one more time. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. and that's going to go over and over for the verse. Then the last time we come out of that section and we go to the chorus, which goes like this. One, two, three, four. Then 
we're back to the main riff there. So really we're going between an A chord and a B chord for the chorus here. The A is gonna be like our power chord, five and seven on the low E and fifth string. And then our B is gonna be two frets up, but there's some cool things that are going on with the chords. So the first part goes like this. Okay, so that's one and two and three and four and... And what that is is five and seven, but then we're reaching up with this pinky and grabbing the ninth fret on the fifth string. One and two and three and four. Then on the and of four, we can grab an A7 chord. And this is a little bit more advanced. If you want to make it simpler, just stay on the A like that, but if you can grab this chord on the and of four, it sounds really cool. Now the other thing that's going on here with the strum hand is you can do alternate strumming, one and two and three and four. Now there I'm palm muting a little bit, so one and two and three and four. Then on the and of four, you let the chord ring out. So. So see, slowly that's one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So really on the and of four, I'm letting the note ring out. It's gonna tie over to the next measure and then the palm muting comes back in, so. Then we take it up two frets and do the same thing over the B. One and two and three and four and 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 then we're back to the main riff. So all together the bridge back to the main riff goes like this. One, two, three, four. Congrats on making it through this classic Zeppelin lesson. Be sure to take it slow and work out each part one step at a time, and then try and put it together and play it along with the recording. And if you need to, rewind the video and just go over any parts that are unclear. And to help you even more, make sure to download my ultimate fretboard guide at the first link down below. And this is going to show you the five must-know chords and scales to play in any style, anywhere on the neck. And you can grab your copy completely for free. Just go to johnmclennan.com slash fretboard guide or use the first link down below. Also, leave me a comment and let me know the number one thing that clicked during this lesson. Maybe you were working out the guitar part and you thought, oh, that's how to get a palm muted sound. Or those are those power chords that I've been hearing on all those classic Zeppelin records. Just leave a comment down below. Thanks for your support with the videos and we'll see you in another Another one real soon.